Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to have a look at the demo of Gate Delvers. What is Gate Delvers? Gate Delvers is a roguelite dungeon crawler which has heavy emphasis on cooperative gameplay. Well, of course, I don't have that many friends, so we're going to have a look instead at the pure single player gameplay, which hopefully is gonna be fun as well. Also, when you watch this particular video, chances are that the game has already launched in early access. So, as always, link is down in the description if you want to check this out on yourself. I don't know why I just had a pause there. <laughs> if you want. Dot, dot, dot. So, without further ado, how about we actually run and jump into the game. Let's hit play. Delver training. Okay, some tutorial. I'm always up for that. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. I have not seen this game having had to have some um, a little bit of gameplay uh, support, but even though it seems somewhat obvious, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have any, but I haven't seen it yet in mention in the Steam page or in the controls. Let's hope it will have that sooner. Regardless, press space to jump. There we go. I can jump. Hello. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> awesome. Also, let me quickly run down the volume. It's always hard. As always, I'm heavily appreciate what you guys think about the overall volume. That's always something I, you know, want to nail down. But it also seems to be quite hard for me. So, hello. E to interact. Okay, Delver training. So, um... If you really wish to join our operation, you need to learn some basics first. Your task is to reach the portal behind these gates. Don't mind me. I'm only here to observe. Righto! Okay, that's honest. Can we break this barrel? We can. Nice. Awesome. So first off, hard to tell if this game is allowed or not for you guys. So yeah, we have to reach the portal there. So there's definitely this way. What does this shield tell us? Press E to pick up things up, right click to throw. Hiya! Okay, fair enough. So we can get rid of these stones. Can we break? Yes, we can break stuff too. <laughs> awesome. Hiya! I do know that we can interact with these levels below there, so we could jump down or we could throw bombs if we have some to these enemies we see. So there's definitely something going on. You can use Z and Z to rotate uh, your camera and X to reset. So first off, I have a German keyboard and the Z and Z key are not close to each other whatsoever. I already um, changed that in my personal options menu. So if I press Y, I actually have the Z function. Would be nice if these tutorial screens would actually, you know, um, register that I've changed the input controls. Because not everyone has American keyboards with the Z and Z and X being close to each other. Regardless, so we can do this, I guess. Oh, man! All right, that's these are some jumping pads, so cool to know. Also, I don't hold left shift to wind up to a sprint. Oh, like this. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's try this again. Hiya! Okay, and then we... Oh, wait. Can jump over. Woohoo! Okay. Looks like this is something that I need to get used to, but sure, let's jump down here. I just want this, whatever that is. Iron pickups. Press E to pick up items. Left click to use your currently active item. Thank you. And I can change my items by, with the button. Fair enough. There we go. Oh, some mining as well. Interesting. <laughs> the sprint is funny. I like that. Okay. Can we destroy these rocks also with pickaxe? We can. Nice. Cool. cool. We have a rock. Can I pick up the rock? I can. Hello? Oh, I, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's pick this guy up too. And to throw. Quachaw! Ew, poor guy. Alright, fair enough. More rocks. I'm gonna take these. I guess I can throw them. Dong. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, of course, at least for now, we're going to pick up everything, right? D, D, D. I'm gonna make the game just a tad quieter for you guys, because looking there at my usual thing, I'm unsure if it's too loud, so I'm gonna play it safe. Usually it's more unpleasant if a game is too loud instead of being too quiet, right? But please tell me, there's always something I'm interested in, and certainly it is something that I have to improve on. So, okay, we have to hit this with the rock. The game is giving us plenty, so even if we scrub, we have enough tries 
to try and do that. There we go. There's the portal. Oh, hi -ya! Okay, can't make that jump. Down here now. All right. If you're re reading this, you fell. Yeah. <laughs> kind of noticed that I fell. By the way, revival amulet. When charged, ah, charged, revives you on death. Can be recharged at fountains. Then the iron pickaxe deals piercing damage. Can dig walls at the cost of 12% durability. Ooh. I consider walls more of a suggestion. <laughs> Fair enough. What is this here? There's a nail on this floor. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a nail on this floor. Is this... Like a tip, is this supposed to be a nail? Candle. Hold F, center pocket. Can set things on fire when lit. Don't worry, your bags are fireproof. Oh, I always just run past those. But I guess they are mostly interested. Uh, interesting when we are in the dark or something. I don't know. Let's get back up. Oh, we can do this. Because I don't think I can do this jump right now. So it looks like the game... Uh, there's an, that's probably the nail we have to get to. We have so many rocks. Warning, hostile below, fight or evade. A weapon, a bow, and a sword. Cool. I have so many rocks. Can we just throw rocks at him? Well. Oh, he heard that. Let's see. Okay, wait, we can rotate the camera, I forgot. Just gonna throw all the rocks. Let's see, can I hit him? There we go, two damage. <laughs> can he reach me? Let's hope not. Oh, that didn't quite work. Wait. Oh! It's so close! Almost. There we go! Oh man, I'm the worst rock thrower ever. Gonna pick up these things. Let's see, the sword. Okay, decent, decent. Also, unlimited durability, maybe. The old reliable. <laughs> Deals additional damage while sprinting. Interesting. Bow. Hold to draw. Release a precise timing for a power shot. Long distance stepping implement. Fair enough. There's also something to the right. Bonus when used as infusion material. Plus one piece. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to. Do oh no. Okay, plan B. Oh, I can't activate. Oh, I threw my bow. Oh, I defeated him by <laughs> accidentally falling on top of him. I mean by heroically jumping on top of him. Because I would never do a mistake, right? Okay, you can't. So this is definitely a nitpick already. I uh, would be nice. Considering that you're supposed to activate these different items, that you could at least do it with a mouse click as well, instead of always relying on your keyboard. Can I change them at least? I can. Cool. Okay. Another pickaxe or so. One rock is fine. That's the nail. Ooh, nice sound. You can use the portal left by the nail to access your pocket and return to the entrance. You can use the portal left by the nail to access your pocket and return to the entrance. Okay. Grab the nail to, uh, by pressing E to level up, gaining an upgrade for the rest of the run. Level up. One skill card available. Tap to draw. Ooh, interesting deckhand. Deck sweeper. Active ability. Thumb mouse button to to use. Uh, okay. Gain speed and double damage for three seconds. Killing an enemy refreshes the duration. Last stand. Passive ability. Any fatal damage received while above one health leaves you with one health instead. You deal bonus damage while at one health. Okay, now we have a choice between gain a double jump. Gain a double jump or gain a double jump. Ah, guys, frankly, I, I'm not sure if I want to have the double jump. I mean, the, the double jump, on the other hand, this one at least is okay. But I feel like the choice is actually very obvious. We want to go with this double jump. Yeah, there we go. Hey, double jump. Okay, how do I get Tap again. And we can jump down. And I have no idea. Is this already the... Do I have an overworld map? No, entrance. This is your... Ah, this is your personal pocket dimension. You can exit it from any nail in any area. You can use it to travel between previous floors of an area or store items. Aha! Different floors. And I guess this is either to get rid of myself or items. What if we throw a stone in there? This generates scrap. Interesting. Alright, what is this? Needs item on primary pedestal. Okay, this is where we can upgrade items or create some, I suppose. Entrance and 1F. What if we go here? Okay, this is the nail again. Got it. Let's go to the entrance. This is where we started. Got it. Okay, let's turn the camera. But how am I supposed to make this jump now? 
Oh, didn't mean to throw that away, sorry. Can I just defeat you? Would you please stop? <laughs> well, I tried. Um, talk. Take your time, just try to find a way to reach the portal. Okay, we have to find a way to reach the portal. Have I found that way already? Let's turn the camera. Let's try a dash jump. Maybe I just screwed up a lot. Oh, wait, we have the double jump, of course. Huh. <laughs> Almost. Left click to warp. Jump to cancel. This gate leads to hub. Yeah, let's warp. All right. Trial cleared and trial. Almost 10 minutes. Did, I, did it really take me that much time? Well, tip. Dagger still extra damage to unaware enemies even when thrown. Back to hub. Yeah. Don't understand how to use my special sweep ability yet, but it's fine. May I have a word? Oh, there's a kitty cat! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Can we... Hello? Oh, what's this? I'm gonna take this. Hot spring water. Water that heals all ills. Rapidly evaporating. Oh, wait. Guess we can just have unlimited water! Hello, kitty cat! Huh. Oh, man. Did we... Oh, rapidly evaporates. That's why we only have glass left, no? Guess. Wait a second. Okay, the cat Libby doesn't care. How about you, sir? Dong! Uh, excuse me? What? Entertain me! <laughs> oh, man. Interesting level design. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I got some fascinating data from your training. Made a whole stack of notes. Architect. Can't wait to make spreadsheets comparing. Um, sorry. The portal at the center of the hub will take you to Brittle Deep Mine. You're probably going to die pretty quickly, but there's nothing to worry about. If you get mortally wounded, you'll be teleported back here and then revived by the heart spring. You won't be able to keep items or power-ups, but every journey is a learning experience. Pain? Oh, um, well, I mean, it's only temporary. Well, that's thanks for your honesty, I guess. Can we flip the switch? Oh, we can turn this around then. Interesting. Anything else? Hmm? Do we have any questions? Oh, there we go. Almost like an RPG. What do you do? My job is to take care of provisions and infrastructure, manage building projects and refugee accommodations, onboard new delvers, maintenance, record keeping, watering the flowers, and picking up whatever else needs doing. Got it? You are doing everything. What is this place? You are currently in the hub, the center of operations of the gate delvers. The hot spring flowing through here is magical healing water, the only thing we know of that cures fog poisoning. Unfortunately, creating a spring takes incredible power and the water vanishes within a minute. Even sh uh, Shaper isn't capable of flooding whole worlds with it. Oh, what's a Shaper? What am I supposed to do? Your main job is to pick up fog charged nails and send them to Shaper for study. The nail sucks in and store fog and when you pick up one, uh, sorry, when you pick one sum of the power will be transferred to your decks. Also, slapping around the fogged folks will make it harder for them to spread the fog, even if they eventually respawn where they stay started from. Do keep your eyes open for any information about the nature and source of the fog. Alright, thanks. Do we have like a dash ability? No, we have this, right? I'm running! <laughs> this is silly. I like it. Okay. I'm running again. Oh, there's... We can sleep. Oh, hello, mister. I'm Thyme, the new cook. Nice to meet you. You're heading through Brittle Deep, right? My sister is currently alone at Brittle Deep Fountain. Could you take some food to her? If you can make it that far, of course. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Our family went off to help Shaper and left Daisy to guard the fountain. She's probably pretty bored, but I'm not setting foot in Brittle Deep anymore. Okay, I can't zoom in. I would like to have a closer look at this guy's face. Okay, some things to sleep. And we have a care package. Food package. Package food that Thyme wants to be delivered to his sister at Brittle Deep Fountain. On the other side of Brittle Deep. Okay, what? Oh! Okay, decks. Drag decks here to equip. Oh, we have different decks. Interesting. Color affinity. Survivable all around. Uh, red, uh, green, blue, orange, all 15%. Orange cards focus on tools. They often deal in infusion, durability, and item manipulation. Blue cards focus on magic. They often offer mana and spell power. Green cards focus on movement. They often grant mobility, range power, and stealth. Red cards focus on strength. They often grant health, defense, or melee power. Nice. Different characters apparently as well. Currently we have the deckhand. Okay, Reach Brittle Deep Fountain is for this one. Interesting, interesting. These thing, two are not in the demo. And this one is also not in the demo. Fair enough. Okay, 
So let's jump up here. Yay! What if we stand here? Is this going to move out? It is. Cool. Ooh, what's this? Stats. Oh, overall stats. Death, enemies killed, chest open, spell cast, deepest pit floor. Zero ten for enough. Can we actually make it? I'm running! Oh no, no chance that we make that. Oh, what the? Oh, hell. Oh, there's a jumping pad here. Hey, oh, hello, sir. <laughs> we, we literally just slapped him. <laughs> hey, hush. Keep your voice down. George, I'm trying to get out of doing any work. All this settlement building business is not suitable for a researcher. Just gonna punch you again with my foot. Stop that. <laughs> we literally just slap him if we want to talk to him. That is so mean. Wow. What has George ever done to us? So who's Shaper? Have we met Shaper yet? What is this? Zero. Ow! <laughs> okay, so this is just for dodging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh god, it's getting fast. Oh, ow, ow! One, bye bye! <laughs> sure, that happened. Okay, I haven't found anyone else here yet, right? It's that, it's that, it's that. So let's go to Brittle Deep Fountain, I suppose. This gate leads to Brittle Deep. Yeah, let's go. I also like this card mechanic and apparently this color affinity that is seems to be incentive to build around, like, well, having, of course, specific preferences, which you could work with in, yeah, if you play with different characters and different people. I like this. Okay, let's actually play around. I think maybe I've made the game a bit too quiet for you guys. Maybe not if I listen to that sound of hitting stuff. So hard for me to tell. Okay, and let's fight this enemy. Maybe we're gonna deal some burn damage. Huh, there you go! You're burning! <laughs> Come on! Okay, two hits is enough. And we have an axe. That's something cool. Can we make this jump? I wonder. Oh, oh kind of. If we get take the damage. Oh, oh, uh, just take. Sure. Wait, I would like to open this. This looks valuable. Okay, we have some loot. Ooh, crossbow, weapon, gun, bow. Hold him. Uh, wait a second. Let's actually set up our items here. Teleportation potion teleports anyone affected to a random location. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Look, look, look. Yeah. Okay, that's some beat. And this seems to be way louder for you guys again, right? Oh, yeah. Stop the music! Oh, whoa, wait, sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Oh, no! I'm sorry! I'm... I, I'm dead. Oh, I said I'm sorry! <laughs> Killed by the shopkeeper. T tip items grant unique bonuses when used as infusional materials. Uh, okay, a little pro tip to you guys when you uh, try this game out again. Link is down in the description. Um, try not to attack the shopkeeper. He, he might not like this. May have a uh, welcome back. How are you getting along? Um, fine. <laughs> You'll get used to dying after one. Here's a deck for you to start your own collection. Aha! Go take a rest at the tavern to the right of him. There's a room for you downstairs where you can equip your decks. Let's go. The Dauntless deck. Hey, sorry, my friend. Can you give me another care package? Uh, food. Give me food. But nobody complained when I set up my little kitchen until they tried my... Oh, man. Can I... Can't I deliver the food anymore? And he doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Uh, sure. So, we can equip a deck. Plus one health recovered when leveling up. Okay, well, is the deck always just three cards? I hope we will get a few more later on. But maybe this is just a demo or, you know, beginning thing. I hope so, at least. Okay, let's try this again, like, proper. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done so well there. Also, roguelike mechanics seems like we have different choices if you want to proceed further there. Interesting. Oh, there's already a nail. Let's get this. 
Level up. Skill card available. Jump and use while holding an enemy to pile pile drive them. Okay. Gain for scrap. Gain. This actually gain the movement speed. I'm not sure if I want to try to grab uh, enemies. I don't feel that confident at the moment, honestly. We have a rock, if nothing else. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's enemies. There's oh, four enemies. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Are they chasing us? I don't think so. Give me something great. Yes, please. Give me, give me. What do we gain? Hook shot. Ooh. Hold to fire hook. Release to. Re ah, okay. Then we have this and this. How do we use the hook shot? Warning. Safety hazard. That's fine. What? Well, well, this works too, I guess. Okay, cool. Open place. Treasure. Dynamite. Ooh, and a buckler. Hold the block. Okay, wait a second. This to one, two, three. Dynamite. Oh, no, don't throw my shield. <laughs> Hold the block, okay? To attack. Hook shot. I want to try the dynamite now. Throwing used to light a fuse. Throwing recommended. Oh! <laughs> nice. We have a few swords. We don't need that many, don't we? Is this something? Scrap or so? No. Well, we have a sword too now. Let's go with this. Oh, can we can we get through here? We can. And maybe not all. We can mine some things, but not all, not all of them. Fair enough. Okay. So there's a portal. This is where we started. This is the nail. I see you, enemy. Don't you worry. There we go. Got you. Is this all the slots we have? Maybe that's a reason to use the nail to store the items, right? We could make this explode. What is that? Are you a friend or foe? No? Yeah. Is this... What is this? I mean, it looks like he didn't like me throwing him. <laughs> oh, did he just disappear? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! What is that? A mime! Oh, shotgun. Yes! Oh! You wanna mess with me? Oh, he actually used that. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with a shotgun. Ooh, awesome. Alright, I like that. Your bow against my shotgun, huh? Yes, you don't mess with a shotgun! Nice. It does also have some durability every time I use it. Good to know. Got it. Oh! <laughs> oh no! That was nice. Stop the burning, please. Thank you. Invisibility potion. Interesting. But now we have all these items. Pocket capacity. So if I use more, does that go into my pocket? No, I literally can't pick it up. Ooh, dynamite. That's nice. Invisibility. We don't need a rock, I guess. Okay, so that's also an emphasis to have more people because we can take more loot, I guess. But what do I do now? We want to get to the next level, I suppose. These are going to drop down, I guess. Well, they could. Let's go to the nail and store some items in this pocket dimension, I guess. Let's try it at least. Hello? So, the forge left lets you upgrade... A re um, sorry. The forge lets you repair and upgrade items you find. Items left in the pocket also stay here during a run. To use the forge, place an item on the glowy pedestal, then pull a lever that seems appropriate. <laughs> the cool direction. Just pull a lever that seems right. The repairs and stacking infusions cost a scrap. Okay. Gain scrap by throwing unwanted high quality items into the scrapper. So for example, my shotgun. Can I upgrade this? Okay. And then I would like dealing pl 4 plus damage causes a small blast. 6 second cooldown. Action speed. Durability lost, reduced. Projectile speed range. Two plus two block. When used as an infusion material. I mean, we have two swords. So if I use this, this would be the upgrade material. I guess zero zero. Does that mean it doesn't work? Infuse. Plus eight percent action speed. Zero four. What if I use my sword again? Can I do it again? No, because this would cost four scrap now, I assume. Cracked pickaxe. 
50% chance to do piercing damage. What if we just threw this in here? Do we get zero scrap? Because it's not high quality enough, I guess. When charged. This also... No, it did actually help me when we lost against the shopkeeper. This is not... What about this? Does this give me scrap? One scrap. Okay. But we need four if we want to use some upgrades here. Four, yeah. So we have a shotgun. I don't understand how to repair the shotgun yet. Needs material item on secondary pedestal. So repairs and stack infusion cost scrap. So repairs didn't quite work. Plus one clip size, minus 20% durability lost. If we use this. Okay, we have to be careful then. I'm still gonna try to work with this, I guess. Let's go back then. First floor. But this is where we came from, right? So if I go back here. Oh no! Okay, second floor, got it. Okay, fair enough, let's go. Interesting, I don't want to step on these things. Could I potentially roll this or place this in front of the fireballs to block it? It works, cool! That is very... I like that. Hello, can you do something? Oh, he's gonna shoot, got it. Oh wait, gotta reload. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against the might. Ooh, what is that? Can we mine our way through here? Cool. What is this? Nothing. Can I pick this up? It's very heavy. Doesn't really do much for us. Interact. So there is this forge, but if not sure if I'm supposed to do something here with this. Oh, our sword is just in limbo. No, there. <laughs> Interesting. So, like a forge, but yeah, doesn't do that much. Let's go to the next floor, I guess, because why not? Another candle. I see you. Don't you worry. Oh, great. Oh, oh no. No, I don't mean to throw it. Well, throwing and shooting might actually be a good combo overall. Never mind. Just, you know, you can shoot your... <laughs> you can shoot your shotgun, but what if you just throw it, you know? So, through the candle. Go. There we go. Man, this is actually a very fun mechanic so far. I like this. Come on, give me cool loot. No? Okay. There's a rock stuck there. Let's move on. Din, 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 din. Oh no. Hit you once. Oh, these guys are so annoying. Hide in the corner. Ah! There we go. Got him. At least they don't have that much HP. Let's take one. Oh, hi. How are you doing, sir? There we go. I got you. Is this better than my dagger? Deals bonus damage against unaware enemies. Easy to throw, though. Yeah, interesting. Weapon. It doesn't tell us the overall damage, it seems. That would be nice. There's a rock there. Cool. Okay, how do we get some decent progression in? Is there something there? It doesn't really seem so. Yeah, just a candle. Nothing. Oh, no! Ah, what a waste of... No, my shotgun. Almost gone already. Can we just mine through? I guess. Is there something? No. Ah, this doesn't look nice, frankly. Got him! Okay, that worked. Cool. If this doesn't give results soon, I'm going back to... If this doesn't give results soon, I'm going back to something silver or so? Couldn't really read it in time. Why do you listen? Okay, and the flow below are interesting. Okay, got you, sir. That's our treasure and another nail. Nice. Got this. Skill card available. Two mana. We don't need mana run. I can't read this because the text isn't... Okay, grab and speed power. For glory, plus one health, deal one uh, extra damage while two or more enemies are within 2.5 meters. Sure. I'm just gonna take it just for the health right now. Can I look at my deck? Probably, but I don't understand how if I click here. Huh. Well, let's just assume I got this upgrade without too much of an issue. Uh, let's pick up this candle and let's throw it here against this thing. There we go. Let's see. Uh, we can't really mine too far because this thing is just gone. Maybe we can scrap it for something good. Oh, God. 
I really want to have this treasure, but for this, I need to jump a lot as well, right? Can I jump over this? Oh, man. This is not gonna go well, but I'm gonna try any... Oh, wait. Oh, maybe... I can at least somewhat try to blow more space, maybe? Oh, wait. <laughs> we also need to lit it. Light it up, right? There we go. I mean, we're getting closer. I'm so afraid to dropping down there, honestly. So, uh, let's take this alternative approach. Okay, I can make this jump, right? Also, we don't need to activate this, so this works. There we go. Loot! Loot indeed. What do we get? Teleportation potion and... Aha! Astral Spark. Astral spells consume elemental charges to gain additional effects. Fire uh, fires a large piercing beam that deals 15 piercing damage and destroys walls. Spell power increases damage and beam size. Unique spells passively grant mana. Solves all problems except for mana deficiency. <laughs> Fair. Let's use the teleportation potion, because why the hell not? Yeah. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Oh! Okay, you tried to throw. Where are you? Gonna reload. Okay, out of durability. Ugh! There we go, got you. What happened to this boss chest of the enemy? Dang it. Okay, our shotgun, useless for the time being. This is useless, and it looks like we can't cast the spell. Oh, maybe that's it. Is that my mana? I would assume I can cast this once, maybe. I feel like maybe I should be a bit careful. I'm also completely out of items here. No idea where I am. Frankly. That looks interesting. I want that axe. Mm, I still want to keep these items because they are having a better rarity, I think. Pick up this. What is this? Ooh, lesser enchantment. Less action speed, which is... is you never know in these games if less action speed is actually better or worse. Plus one damage, more knockback. Does this one have durability? So I guess this would be better than... Sounds good. Seems better than my sword, at least. Um, oh god, how do we progress from here? Let's do this. That's something. Hello. Wow, what a shoddy item. Oh, this is back at the nail. Got it. Let's go down. There were people talking somewhere... In somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just somewhere. No idea. Okay, okay. And lucky how you really have to approach this these maps with some mindset. So there's even a puzzle element to this with all these items. So far, I really enjoy this. Wait, have I been here before? Did I teleport back with this teleportation thing? Oh, hi! Okay. No! Oh! Well, don't quite understand how to use my axe. This worked. Come on. Where are you? Shouldn't there be a few more of these guys? Can't unlock this for now, because these guys are still out there. Got you. There's one more. I see you. There we go. Ah, we did it. Nice. Dynamite and another pickaxe. Um, I would like... For now, we can just throw this away. I guess that's fine. See that enemy over there? We are at Brittle Deep Floor 3 out of 4. I wonder if there's boss enemies at the end of these. Would be nice. But that would also scare me. I'm so lost, you guys. I feel like I've been here before. Wasn't there a treasure chest there before? Yeah, it looks like I have been here before, yeah. Literally. Oh, wait, how do you... you that was enough to get me? Oh, not nice at all. Let's just rush past. This is where I want to go. I'm too afraid to... No, just try to dodge. But can't we just drop down? Would that cost me health? You know what? Let's get the spell ready and just drop. Can we... S oh, yeah, that takes, takes damage. Great. Bam! Old digger! ho <laughs> ho! That was an elite enemy, maybe even a boss enemy, but it doesn't matter if we have such an amazing spell. Oh, that felt awesome. Uh, give me loot, whatever. Drink. Oh, yeah, we don't need this. Loot! Open five chests. Nice. What is this? Wind walls. Ooh. And super dynamite. I would assume super dynamite is better than normal dynamite, but that's just a guess. 
Do we want to throw this dagger? No, let's actually throw this pickaxe. Super dynamite and another pickaxe. What is this? Ooh, cool weapon. The Wind Walls. Gain a short burst of speed on hit. Landing two attacks within five seconds grants a wind charge. Attacking with a wind charge consumes the charge for a more powerful attack. One, two, three. Ooh, we have so many cool items now. We barely made it. Luckily, I had this super spell. So I guess if we go back now, something happens. Let's assume this is better than our axe. This gate leads to Brittle Deep Fountain. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, okay, this is that. Looks like I could have also gone there if I found the right portal or so. Brittle Deep Fountain. Oh, okay, nice. This is a little bit of a breather then. One scrap, two scrap. What's this? Spell? Arcane Missile. Cool. Huntress. Bow. Hey, are you one of them dwellers? I guess so. I heard y'all are working to stop the fog. You wouldn't need any walls demolished by any chance. I've worked with explosives my whole life. And I'm handy at finding valuables too. Great! I'll head for the hub in a bit. Hey, we unlocked the miner! Nice, is that a whole character? So you're at the hub? Maybe. I like this. Hello, sir. How you doing? Hello. Thyme. Daisy. When you see my brother again, tell him he should get his lazy butt back here. Dots. Uh, sorry, please don't tell him I said that. I just miss him. Oh no, we don't have the food. I'm sorry. How's the delving going? can't talk to her again. That's kind of sad that apparently we can always, like, have one proper conversation with these NPCs before... Oh, this seals us. Cool. Before we have to try again or so. So this probably brings us back to our pocket dimension if we want to generate scrap or something. Let's actually try this. Why not? Here. And if I select my shotgun and... One scrap. Yeah. What about this? Does this give us something? One scrap. Yay. How about dynamite? I literally just want to... F no. Zero scrap. No. The dagger. Also zero. No. Ah, so... These items are so cool, man. Dealing 6 plus damage causes a small blast. 50% projectile. Speed range. Durability loss. Plus 1 mana cost. 100 damage. And 25 radius. Man, these two items are apparently very good and rare. Let's go back to the entrance. Right here, cool. <laughs> like when you get just jumped up in the air. Cool feeling. Okay, I guess now we would need to go to the Shaper's Archives, right? Ah, oh, that's the end of the demo in Brittle Deep Fountain. 17 uh, minutes, 50 seconds. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking out the Guild Delvers demo. If you liked what you saw, consider wishlisting the game on Steam. If you have feedback or opinions you'd like to share with us, check out our Discord server. Many melee weapons have unique attacks while sprinting or jumping. Let's go back to that. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, what's in my, my impression so far? Well, obviously this demo is very short, but it really seems to go for this. You really want to find some very cool loot between these runs with your friends hopefully and your friends can specialize like i i'm collecting all the mine equipment while you focus on dealing damage while i try to get us across these traps and you are gonna do more melee and more mana things and you can probably trade items during these runs and try to find more unique ones and so on it seems to also have a lot of puzzle elements like then they you plan that with your friends and it goes horribly wrong and then you have to work around and panic and i can see this as a nice party thing i hope these different classes the different cards the different items also give you the ability to buff friends or so that it's not always like focus on you oh there's the food package i didn't see this last time no we could have brought this to the npc to thyme um but yeah Obviously, just a very short demo, but from what I've seen so far, if they just improve on this, giving you more things, I can see this game being fun in single player and even in multiplayer, when you even can maybe pick up your friends, throw them around. I think I've saw this in the trailer of the game. You know, you can can you, you can just go sh and do shenanigans with your friends, is what I'm trying to say, right? You can just go hardcore and play cooperatively, or you can maybe do challenge runs when you try uh, to screw yourself over and see who actually managed to reach the end of the floor or something or well, like a mix of so and oh no i wanted that item now i'm gonna pick you up and throw you in the spikes or the spikes or something 
Um, I, I can see that being like annoying and chaotic, but also fun for like some um, friendly party run, so to speak. And that is apparently what this game is also being designed around. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to keep an eye out again. Um, there's a chance this game that this game has already been released on Steam and Early Access right now. As always, please tell me your honest opinion. What do you think of the game? What do you think of my presentation? Would you like to know more? Should I have said something more to you? Well, certain specifics of the game what you where you feel like that's something i left out or so that's feedback is always 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 very much welcome and appreciated and as always you have two homeworks first off your first homework is to stay awesome your second homework is to share this video with a friend if you consider this a worthwhile video to share of course and we're gonna see each other right around the corner at the next video right so thanks so much stay awesome and bye bye